is that uh, what race were the ancient Egyptians? Millions who to know the answer and millions would give us that the ancient Egyptians were either uh, European or Asiatics. This was emphatically resolved at the historic International Cairo Symposium that was held from January 28 uh, to February the 3rd in 1974, in which we were represented by the great and able uh, scholars uh, among us them, Chenga and Diop and Teofilo Obenga. However, during the conference, a professor Tongni, Sev Sodenberg of Sweden and other participants argued that the concept of race was now outmoded and not appropriate for the characterizing uh, for characterizing the ancient Egyptians. But we have to remember what Professor Ander Diop said. He said whenever a cultural situation or historical situation does not favor the Western mind, they would say we don't have anything to do with the race, yet it is the phenotype the color and the representation of the race that has given us uh, uh, problems on earth. Professor uh, Abdegaldi Abdallah of Sudan stated that it was more important to focus on the ancient Egyptians' achievements rather than their race. We don't want to agree with that. Professor G. Galab of Egypt said that the Egyptians were Caucasians. In other words, they were Europeans. Now, Professor uh, Leclant of France said in Africa, an African character in the Egyptian uh, temperament and way of thinking. Uh, yes, but the unit of the Egyptian people was not racial, but cultural. He stated that the civilization was neither white nor negro. Uh, Professor Peter Shini of Canada, Vekuta, argued that terms such as black was too subjective and not well defined ever since the 1974 Cairo Symposium. The Caucasian uh, origins theory has slowly uh, been abandoned in academic uh, circles. But a picture is worth a thousand words. The idea that ancient Egyptians were Europeans or Asians has continued to enjoy massive marketing popularity in TVs, documentaries, dramas, modern paintings, cartoons, and comic books. Museum displays which focus on the foreign period of Greco Roman occupation and drawings in scholarly and popular uh, books leads to this misconception. Uh, Millions of black people still think today that ancient Egyptians were Europeans coming from these National Geographic uh, images like this. And they tell you straightforward that this is the new face of King Tut, his life and death. A new face. Where is the old face? They don't show you that. Now, for decades, National Geographic magazine has played a huge role in publishing a biased ancient e Egyptian images. This is the new King Tut. Look at him. Look at the image. This is the original. And this is the new one that came out of uh, uh, France, uh, France. The original King Tut uh, is Tut Ankoma. Of the images that are shown here, which one is the actual mummy of King Tut? You can make and pick your guess. Now, when we look at these images that we are that we are highlighting today, we see that the two depiction of King Tut on the left, on top, here, these two, these are the original ones, uh, showing black features. Even this is the, the one that was depicted when he was dead. And these are black Egyptians. And these are black Asian uh, people in, in, in Anatolia. And this is the new, which is untrue rendering. Even the Holy Mother of God, the Holy Mother, on the top, this is Isis. And uh, we see that uh, the bottom one is the fact one, the new one, the, the new one, almost like Madonna, the same thing with the moon. So we know what is happening, uh, that there has been this drive to uh, redefine what is important and what is critical in ancient history. The symbols that are central to ancient Egyptian culture are exclusively African symbols. When we come to the law, or Kuera, the laws of Maati, uh, the divine law, it's an ostrich feather, Dendera. There's a place in Egypt called Dendera. This is the ostrich. It's only exclusively found in Africa. And this is the symbol found in ancient uh, Egypt, depicting, depicting uh, uh, Mahat. We look at the leopard skin outfit, which is popular in African chiefs, kings, scholars, and rulers. You can see that in ancient Egypt, they wore leopard skin. Here, yeah, they are wearing leopards. This is a priest. And this is priestess and priest and priestess. And these are modern 
Nguni priests and kings. This is what they were, leopard skin. Where did that tradition come from? It came from our Asian ancestors. The lotus flower, which represents spiritual transformation, is also a, a southern Egyptian flower. Also, the sledge plant, Umhlang, found in kingship in southern Africa, Umhlang are rich dense in, 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 in Swaziland. These are ancient Egyptian. Look at them. They are not anything else other than ancient Egyptian. What about the coordinates? How did the Egyptian know they are east, west, south, and north? Imni, the hieroglyphic of the west, also means the right side or the right hand side. So the Egyptians put south at the top of their maps. West was on the right hand side where the sun set. Imnit is the west wind which flows from east to west. So Ibdi means both east and left. Therefore, if the Egyptians were standing in Egypt today and were pointing their unidirectional, uh, were, were showing the coordinates, they would do, their face would look southwards and their right hands would be at the west. In this situation, the Egyptian map always showed the region of Asia to be on the left rather than on the right. On the left, in other words, east. This is the true ori orientation of ancient Egyptians. The animals in the Egyptian religious systems are all found in ancient in Africa. And they are exclusively African animals. Some of them are still alive. Some of them are still there in Africa. This is the baboon, Ugudo. I still remember in Kokwe where the, 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 the baboon and the monkey were depicted as divine. As, as, as animals bringing forth the calendar, divine calendar, good weather. It was even reputed that if you go and plow your fields on the day of rest, cheesy, a baboon would come and grab all your implements. And the lion, Sekhmet, ah, that, that, that's quite clear. We still have totems. We have totems that depict all these animals exclusively in Africa. And in our Utiko, uh, symbolism of, of, of the creator of, of renewal of life, is an ancient Egyptian in, which included the scarab beetle. Uh, and and, 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 and the, this was found on their art, on the tombs, and the image held a deep meaning of regeneration, of creation, of transformation, of renewal, of being able to go forth and being able to be successful. Uh, it's divine. Utiko. Unkurunkuru. When you speak in Shona and say, Mtongi Gava, what, what do you mean? How do you know that? It's Anubis. It came from ancient Egypt. I'm showing you the images here of, of, of Judgment Day where your, your heart is, and your sacrifices, your heart is balanced and Anubis takes you and uh, 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 takes your journey with you when you die. Hamet, Hamiti, black land or black people. The ancient Egyptians called themselves Hamet. Never ever did uh, they depict themselves as anything else or even as Asians or as Europeans. They are never shown with white or pale skin on authentic artifacts. They ridiculed actually being white by using the term Tamohu. This is our king. This is how we look like. This is not a European. This is not Asian. That is an African. Tell the kids the truth. This Amen Hemat uh, the, the third. Tell the truth. This is the original, authentic stone carving of ancient Egypt. Tell the kids the truth that we came from ancient Egypt. We civilized ancient Egypt. We, we civilized the earth in West Africa, Southern Africa, Asia, Cambodia, Anatolia, or Russia. The black people were all there civilizing all those lands. And now, wow, that this is the time to rebuild in prophecy in history and in truth there is no way going there is no going back we have arisen and we have awakened the every morning affirm this every even when you go to bed affirm this we have risen we have awakened there is no other way we won't go back we have arrived we time to reclaim what is ours thank you Goodbye.